Hey guys, it's Michelle. So it's that time of year, cancer season, my birthday month, which signifies the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So this video is a preview and my personal picks of what someone like me would buy during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Now this list is actually very condensed. It's not minimalist. It's not a basic. They are staple pieces that I feel like everyone should have in your wardrobe and I stayed away from trendy. So I've been shopping the anniversary sale um, pretty much since I was 18. The summer before I went to college, I worked a summer at Nordstrom and discovered how fun and fabulous it was to work for Nordstrom, get the employee discount and buy my own things. So I actually discovered it before then. My aunt was very stylish and since she didn't have a girl, she would take me shopping. That was my first intro to Nordstrom's. But since then in my 20s, when I was working in the corporate world, I was working in the fashion industry and I didn't have kids, so I could just buy stuff. I'm really happy to say that even back then, I bought pieces that I knew were just staples in my wardrobe that would last. And guess what? 20 years later, there's still things I fit. It might be a little tight, but looking at the selection now, trends do cycle. So there are some things that I bought 20 years ago that I'm seeing now that are available in today's Nordstrom catalog. Now there are certain categories that I shop for and there are there may be things on this list that I already have but I'm going to suggest to you because they're so great. Anyways, okay, we'll start with shoes and boots. I put two different versions in my cart because I've noticed they have the economical version and then the version that's a little more expensive, which I think gives you nice options. So ultimately what will help me decide is the comfort level of each shoe. So the first shoe is a sneaker. It's the Edie sneaker by Sam Edelman. And I love this sneaker in this soft silver material. It's silver leather. She also comes in white, white shoes, I know everyone needs them, but it's kind of boring. I love that the silver is soft. So use the silver to replace your white shoe. Yes, you can still wear it with anything that you would wear your white sneakers with. You don't have to wear silver to have silver shoes. It just gives your feet a nice little pop. Picture it with like black trousers. It's just gonna be a nice color pop option to your outfit like jewelry. The higher version of that shoe, the All Saints Shayna Metallic Sneaker for Women. At first glance, this looks like a men's shoe, probably because of the black laces. I might want to change those laces to white. Now this is a shiny silver. It looks a little more high fashion, okay? So you have to be a little more daring to wear this shiny silver. I'm gonna have to try them on both because I love the look of this too. It has a nice mirror look. However, I did own a metallic leather Louis Vuitton sneaker and it hurt my toes. Like hurt so hurt my toes so much that it knocked my toenails off, you know? Um, so that wasn't good. I ended up selling those shoes. So I'm gonna have to try these on, but they are super cute. And like I said, a little more high fashion. So if you wanna be more daring with your footwear, go with the All Saints Shayna Metallic Sneaker. Try them both. So the um, Shayna, the All Saints version is 119 and the Sam Edelman version, $59. Okay, don't need this because originally I just had one sneaker and one boot, but then I found this Karl Lagerfeld Carly Cap Toe Slip On Sneaker. Oh, you guys, how cute. So for those of you who don't know, Karl Lagerfeld, pretty much made Chanel what it is now with the interlocking C's. So you can see the Karl Lagerfeld touch of the chain on the toe cap of his sneaker. You might say that's very Chanel, but no, it's very Karl Lagerfeld. He brought that look, that look to Chanel with the interlocking leather in the chain. I have four pairs of boots in here. Okay, well, the reason I have four pairs of boots, um, these two here, there is the, Dirty Laundry version and the Dolce Vita. So let's go with the cheaper version first at $69.99, just a Western boot. Comes in four different colors. What caught my eye first was the Dolce Vita version, which will run you $169. Look at the detail on this boot with the applique, the tone-on-tone -tone applique on the taupe suede. It is so gorgeous. I'm seeing an uptrend in white boots. 
So this is kind of perfect because it's not white white, it's ivory, a little more wearable. Look at this black and white leather. Okay, if you're gonna be a little daring, I love this look, love it. I know not everyone wants to rock it, but it's cute. Or just do a plain black. This is the Shale Knee High Boot by Sam Edelman. This is an off-white, so it's called Modern Ivory. Look how beautiful. I just love that combo of the brown heel and the ivory boot, the ivory leather. So pretty. So if you don't want to do that, there's black. And there is caramel. The caramel is really beautiful, too. Love these, Dolce Vita. These immediately caught my eye. The Ramson Western boots. So these are booties, anklets, ankle booties, whatever you call them, two-tone. I am just in love with the Cruella de Vil here. I do not know what I'm gonna wear her with. I'm gonna find something, because I love the Cruella de Vil going on here at the black and white leather. She also comes in brown multi. Those are gorgeous. I really love these too. I would get these, but the Dune, cream and brown, cream and tan. These are gorgeous too. Just like the other Dolce Vitas have this beautiful applique. So I don't know guys, what do you think? It's a little rock and roll, but I love, I love the two-tone. So if you're not as bold as black and white, go for one of the other colors. Okay, so that's it for the boots. Now let's, oh no, no, wait, sorry. One more, one more. This is just a necessity because I live in Southern California. I hate plastic rain boots. So these Darlene waterproof booties by Blondo are gonna be just fine for me. They're almost like a Chelsea, but not. It's got a big platform lug sole that looks pretty comfortable. And it's got a buckle. We need the buckle for style. So at this point, look, I'm just looking for something to wear in the rain. They're not gonna get much wear. So on those few days that it rains or that I'm like, you know, traveling somewhere, I do need this type of boot. So I don't ruin my good boots. So let's move into pants. These are actually leggings. They're not pants. Leggings are not pants, they're leggings. But everyone has to have these. They are the Spanx faux leather leggings. If you don't know, now you know, but I think everyone knows. So if you don't have them yet, just get them. I have them. I don't wear them very much anymore since, you know, COVID and leggings is kind of old news, thank God. But I still do need these for sweater weather. Now, oh, something about the anniversary sale, everything is um, fall, winter. So I need these for sweater weather because some of those um, sweater dresses that I have, like my Vuitton sweater dress, is so short and sometimes it's cold, so I do need leggings underneath. These are textured. They don't actually look like leather, guys, but they have a texture, so they look better than your old navy leggings, okay? You don't want to look cheap. You don't want to look like you just wore the same leggings that you wore it to bed. So these are elevated leggings, plus they're Spanx, so they have a wide waistband. They hold you in. Get them, they'll sit in your closet for a long time and make sure you get the right size so they're not rolling downhill, okay? Now, let's uh, talk about more leggings. The Zella Live-In High Waist Leggings for $39.99. That is such a good deal, you guys. So I love these better than Lululemon. I think they're softer, they're really soft. Actually, when I discovered Zella, I was told that the Lululemon designers abandoned ship and went to Nordstrom. So here you go. I've had my Zella leggings for a long time. They're thick, they're soft, they hold you in, they make your butt look good. Go for it. Um, love these frame jeans. Love that the flare jeans is coming back. They're super flattering on, I'm going to say almost anyone. They're super flattering. Uh, love the two buttons on these jeans and you know, if you're if you work in the office, they're like they're nice enough that they're not they're actually trouser looking. And then last, um, everybody needs just some good black trousers. These are wide leg trousers from Vince Camuto, and they're only seventy one ninety nine. Everybody needs black pants. The pencil skirt is a classic, and if you're in the working force, the pencil skirt it just looks sexy. It's slim, it falls right between the, the knees. You can wear your pencil skirt with anything, with heels, with boots, I mean, even, even flats or sneakers. You can wear it with a t-shirt or a sweater like this girl's wearing it with a t-shirt. You can look very simple and classic or you can dress it up, but it always looks very feminine and sexy. So with that, I also added to the list a corset blazer by Open Edit. It's $59.99. I like the shape of this. It's just a flattering shape. 
everybody needs a nice tailored blazer. So most of the blazers that I saw on the anniversary sale, they're actually oversized and boxy. I would stay away from those, even though it's a trend right now, it's not going to be a trend like next year. When your clothes fit you, you're gonna look more expensive. So even though this whole boxy oversized thing is a trend, trust me, you can get those things at Zara, you can get those things secondhand, but buy a blazer that fits you. Now, if you didn't know, Nordstrom also has tailors in-house, so you can alter, like hem your pants and alter your clothing as needed. So for those reasons, I'm gonna go steer you toward the more classic cuts. I think there are other blazers, like with buttons and stuff. So look for one that is going to fit you well and flatter your body. That boxy oversized blazer, it's not flattering on everyone unless you're like super tall. Most of us aren't. <laughs> jackets, I love jackets from Nordstrom. I have put a whole bunch in my cart. Although I, you know, I don't need any because I think I've bought a jacket every year. But here are some of my picks. The Aloe VIP Trench Blazer, Aloe Yoga. It's yoga clothes, but some of their stuff can work really like everyday casual. This is a cute trench coat. It's even got a notched collar. Now, I think one thing I need to get is the packable hooded rain jacket. This will be for my daughter. This is by Cole Hahn. I did buy a Michael Kors trench coat with a hood a while ago. So that's my raincoat. Now she needs one because I do not like plastic raincoats. I do not plastic, I do not like plastic rain boots. I do not like plastic rain wear. This one is perfect. Plus it's lightweight because those plastic coats, like you sweat in those like crazy. Oh, let's go back to blazers. This is a super cute blazer. You guys, the Veronica beard. I know this is, you know, a little the bold side. It's patterned. It's, you've got to be comfortable to wear this, but it is more fitted. And this is a tweed that it might be in season now. Keep it in your closet. It will keep cycling in and out. Be a little daring. I know everyone wants to go for black blazers, but I do recognize that a black blazer just in the long run over decades is going to suit your closet just much easier than some of these prints, even though the prints, they're beautiful. Okay, another jacket, the Ralph Lauren double-breasted wool blend coat. Look how beautiful this is. So classic. I am not gonna say Stealth Wealth, I hate that name, but you can get this in gray or this camel color. Both beautiful. I have this length of jacket when I used to travel to the East Coast down to the knees, keep you warm here in Southern California. Don't need it, but you guys might need it. So go for one of those, it's classic. So as I am putting this video together, I'm getting really frustrated because I'm already seeing that a lot of these pieces are sold out. So I'm so sorry, but what you guys wanna do is um, see the influencers buy all the stuff first, and I'm not part of that influencer group. They buy all the stuff and then they return it. So everyone does this actually, buy up all the stuff and then return it so there's still a chance that these things will pop up. The last thing on my list is the Sam Edelman pink tweed coat. Why do I recommend a pink tweed coat? Not just because it's Barbie season, but because I got this pink tweed coat from Nordstrom. I want to say like 2005 or 2006, and she has been a favorite in my closet. So I highly recommend. But anyways, she sold out already. Sorry about some of these things already being sold out, but like I said, check back because they are gonna come back. Nordstrom is infamous for returns. Um, I'm gonna cut the video here. My video is a little late. Sorry, it's my birthday week. Had a little too much fun. Um, and I'm going to create another video for beauty products and other things, so stay tuned for those. The links to the products if they are available, I've linked them to this video, so please do shop through my links. I get a small commission through them if you can find them. That would be so great. Thank you so much for joining my show, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.